Get back! Bye bye! Get back from the Queen's Guard! The Queen's Guard is no regular job. We showed you in the last video what it takes to be a Queen's Guard, including how they train and what their duties are. Well, this time we're going to show you a bit more, such as what they go through at their positions at Buckingham Palace. Don't even kid yourself into thinking that all that marching, screaming out commands, and clacking of heels is all an act. They are very serious. If you happen to get in their way, you don't want to know what happens next. Here's why you don't want to mess with the Queen's Guard. The Queen's Guard cannot allow anyone to get in their way. These guys will literally stomp on you if you don't move. With the large crowd that usually surrounds the palace, not everyone is lucky enough to hear their warning scream, make way for the Queen's Guard. But still, you'd think that some tourists would listen. These guys carry loaded guns, and it's part of their duty to carry on their parade, even if someone is in their way. Just like this woman, who seems oblivious to what's happening around her until she suddenly gets whacked from behind by a member of the Queen's Guard. Well, better pay attention next time. Everyone who visits Buckingham Palace wants a photo with the Queen's Guard, but you can't expect to get a photo every time. This lucky couple were fortunate enough to be allowed by the soldier to take a photo next to the Queen's Guard. He even asked the woman to stand in a specific spot, but watch this smart guy who tries to get too close to the guard. He keeps irritating the soldier by standing as close as possible for too long, until the guard suddenly screams at him to step back. Get back! Get back! If you ask me, tourists are a wacky lot. Many of them don't seem to understand that Buckingham Palace guards aren't toy soldiers or actors strutting around for show. This guy laughing like a jackass thinks it's all a game. The Queen's Guard is carrying out their shift, but he keeps marching alongside them. The guard may have wanted to give him a piece of his mind, but the guard retains his composure and keeps on marching while this jerk carries on with his foolishness until he takes things too far and touches the guard on his shoulder. <laughs> Get back from the Queen's Guard! <laughs> he gets towed off so fast it makes his head practically spin. Yes, in case you thought their large hats were synthetic, they're actually 100% bearskin. The royal family orders specifically designed hats for all 36 soldiers and 3 officers serving at the Buckingham Palace. While each cap is really long, around 18 inches to be more precise, it weighs only 1.5 pounds. The skin is imported from cold American and Canadian black bears. This continued practice has brought up some animal rights activists who are trying to get the royal family to look for an alternative. With all the parading, marching around, and braving all kinds of weather conditions, you'd think that these guys would earn quite a fat paycheck, right? Well, they don't really. It's quite a shame, actually because the work of the Queen's Guard is tedious and they have to deal with all the dumb and ignorant tourists that come to visit the palace. The guards receive a very low pay for their high performance, averaging around 33,770 pounds per year, considering the fact that they have to stand in the sun for hours and put their lives on the line for the Queen in case she's attacked, that's quite low. They do get their meals from Buckingham Palace though, so that's something, we guess. The Queen's Guard Parade does not stop for anyone. There have been several instances where people were pushed, whacked, or screamed at to get out of the way. What you should never ever do is stand in front of a Queen's Guard Parade. They will not stop for you. If you happen to be daydreaming or distracted at the time, you're going to be knocked out of the way very rudely. But that's the way it is. The Queen's Guard waits for no one, and these two instances portray that fact perfectly. The Queen's Guard is an exclusive regiment who only allowed their allegiance to the Queen and no one else. This young lady thought of testing that out only to learn the hard way that she was very, very wrong. She threw her glove across the chain to the guard, thinking that he would pick it up and give it back to her, but he didn't. While it may be chivalrous to hand a lady back her glove, the Queen's Guard does not work for anyone else. They're solely focused on their duty. This lady lost her glove and she only has herself to blame. The Queen's Guard doesn't just randomly march up and down the grounds of Buckingham Palace. Every battalion is given a distinct location to protect, and they must do so at all costs. The Queen's Guard consists of several battalions, and they rotate their duties annually. They would choose locations and duties ranging from standing sentry, guarding the main gates, or marching up and down in a particular location inside or outside the palace grounds. They will also only vacate their posts once their allotted time is up, and not a second sooner just like you see here. 
If you thought the Queen's Guard were aggressive, rude, and stiff, you'd be surprised to know that they could be entertaining too. Every once in a while, there might be a special tourist who can make even these well-trained guards let loose and laugh. Then there's this guard who showed off his cool Michael Jackson move while on duty. Who knew the Queen's Guard could have such sweet dance moves? The Queen's Guard is considered one of the most important jobs in England, and unsurprisingly, it's also one of the most disciplined too. Through these videos, you have seen what the guards have to put up with on a daily basis. Come sun, rain, hail or snow, a member of the Queen's Guard will never have been in his post because it's his duty to remain there as long as he's assigned. It's a tough job, and tours make it worse. But someone needs to do it. Do you think that you can make it as a member of the Queen's Guard and put up with all the loonies? Be sure to tell us in the comments below.